fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Hey everyone, we just came up on the roof to do some work to repair the roof and I noticed the bees were just kind of flying all around and then I realized that this new hive we just put out is swarming. So swarming is kind of like an amoeba splitting in two. It's how bees uh, replicate themselves. Uh, the basically half the hive leaves with the old queen, half the hive stays and raises a new queen. Right. Yeah, I gotta go, man. Okay. So we moved back a little bit, uh, but basically the hive splits in two. The problem with that is that you've lost half your honey production workers. At this point, we can't really do anything here. I actually saw the queen on the roof of the, the floor of the roof. I saw her land on the roof here and I was about to pick her up. I took a quick picture of her and then she took off. So they're gonna follow the queen and they're sending out scout bees right now to find a new home. We have a, a it's called a bait box or a swarm trap in the backyard here with some uh, pheromone, come here pheromone there. So we'll see what happens. But at this point, there's not much we can do. They're swarming, swarms happen. You, at this point, you can't put them back. You can't put the genie back in the bottle to say the least. So I'm just, we're just gonna watch. So I'm throwing together a quick bait hive. You see these bees? They're checking out this comb. So I don't have all the parts to build a proper hive here. So I've got a piece of plywood. I drilled some holes in a spacer I had. This is comb. This is honey. Bees love the smell of comb. And also, I've got a spray bottle of the essential oil mix, which has lemongrass, which is the come here pheromone. So I'm just gonna, I don't know if this will work. I, I have no idea, but I don't wanna lose half my bees. And then I've got a sugar feeder. I'm gonna try and find another piece of plywood to put on top, but that is my DIY bait hive or swarm trap or swarm box. Now we just gotta wait. So you notice here a lot of bees massing on the outside. A bunch of them, they're just kind of flying in circles here. I've got bees all over my arm here. This is what a swarm looks like. Okay, since running downstairs, they've calmed down. Much fewer bees here. Lots of bees here. One caveat to all this, I'm just an amateur beekeeper. I'm not some expert. I'm just doc documenting my experiences. If I'm incorrect about something, please let me know in the comments here, all right? So I, because I learned from you all. Um, let's see what happens. It's pretty amazing. 
So this is a couple hours later. Um, one of my thoughts was that, you know, they were basically, instead of alighting to a tree or something, they were massing just outside the hive there. Maybe the queen was in that big mass on the top. And then they flew off. And then I realized, oh, I could just brush them into a box. And by the time I got downstairs and came back up with an appropriate box, not the kind of um, half-made one I built over here, my Super Swarm TM box. Um, so I don't know. By the time I got back up here, the big mass was gone. And uh, now it just looks like a normal hive again, except a bunch of bees are gone. So tell me what you guys think. I always learn from you. And there should be some boxes here floating for some other interesting garden forky stuff. It's um, just kind of eclectic DIY stuff. All right, see ya.